one species in this area and there's another one over there. And I actually have a, a small third species right here that's a little purple flowers on it. This one is called Nan Sha Shen. N-A-N. N-A-N. Nan Sha Shen. And the Latin name of this is Adenophora. And there's several species. I think uh, one of these is Perescafolia. I think, yeah, this, this one is Perescafolia. I think that one is probably Bulliana. That one, I don't remember which one that is right now, but there's a number of species that are used for the same uh, medicine. And um, this plant's a perennial also. And again, it's very easy to grow. Uh, you can see it spreads quite a bit through seeds, actually. The, the multitude of plants we have in here all came up as little volunteers from seeds that dropped from the original plant. And um, it likes full sun, but it can tolerate partial sun or even a fair amount of shade, too. That's it for the plant cutting kind of throw it. Uh, it's a clumper by it, itself. Any one plant just sort of forms new plants around it, so it's not going to be invasively that way. You just have to pull out the seedlings if you don't want more of it. Uh, and um, <clears throat> so, as I said, this one's called Nan Sha Shen. And this is an herb that conifies the yin, but it also stops cough, moistens the lungs, basically and it has some ability to transform phlegm. And um, it's used for, one of the uses is it dry coughs, of course, with moistening the bone. Um, it also can be used for what they, they called in earlier times consumption. And that's kind of like TB. Basically, it's like a chronic infection. TB would be a, a classic example of that, where um, somebody's system is gradually being sort of wasted away uh, because this infection is, in Chinese medical reason, kind of burning up the fluids and the substance in the body. And somebody's system starts to get weaker and weaker and more efficient and kind of they'll start to become emaciated. And they may have a bloody cough with that too. Um, and then it's also used as well for helping with dry skin. Uh, be also useful for moistening. The lungs are said to control the skin in Chinese medicine, and so it moistens the lungs, so it also ends up being able to be useful for helping with dry skin. And um, it does stop cough, so it is good for, for coughs, but more so for dry coughs. Uh, you use the flowers? Yeah, use the root. The root? Use the root. Dried. So you let it dry and then you boil with water and then drink it? Yep. Oh. And then, oh, I'm going here.